Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another moto touring adventure episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's about lunchtime, so had to stop and take a break, fill up on gas. I, I'm trying out this new solar panel to continuously charge my rear view camera. We didn't need to stop for gas, but we are definitely overheating. It's 44C. Uh, we had to stop and drink some water. Look at my face, it looks like shit. We had to wear the N95 mask the entire way, so it's imprinted on my face. With inhaling most a lot of smog on the way here, or a lot of smoke, because the entire California, almost all of California, is on fire right now. Lots of wildfires. We'll see. Riding in this weather is like riding inside a convection oven. It was really hot and even with the wind itself is hot so there's just no escaping the heat. It's really unfortunate that there's just so many wildfires after this. I don't think it's wise to keep going out and riding because the air quality is bad and they pretty much shut down most of the forest in California forest access due to the wildfires there's always people wanting to take pictures by the sign every single time we end up going here instead of anywhere else because Prior to this, I had to research where we can actually go where there isn't any wildfires which, in which the chances are very very slim right now and luckily this area is still safe as of now. This was a pretty long stoplight wait in really hot weather in full gear. I'm so jealous of everybody that's in their cars right now with AC. We were trying to get rid of our boredom by trying to do voice skits. Twitchy. Hi. 
freaking it wants, out. It wants nuts. Yeah. This is the last stop before our destination. The weather's already better. I really want to adopt this chipmunk. I'm entertained by this chipmunk. I know. Don't eat that dirty gum. Oh my god, it's eating the dirty gum. It's dirty. I'm tachycardic right now. <laughs> Dehydrated. It's too hot for me. Okay. I'll be heading out soon. Home, but I can't because Alaska will eat you. <laughs> Once we got up to altitude, the ride was actually really pleasant. Finally made it with plenty of sun left. I'm just trying to fix myself. I think I look hysterical. I had to edit this sound out because there was a lot of microphone disruption. And it was pretty annoying. I didn't know how to edit it. But I was basically just complaining because I was... My heart was racing so fast because it was so hot and I barely drank the entire time. The weather ranged from 28 was the lowest we saw on high altitude. And then uh, on the way to this place, it was 44 maximum. And uh, it kind of averaged out to 35. And I just couldn't wait to set up camp and have some beer we got some ice from the store the last store we stopped at and i'm just very excited to have cold beer i'm gonna check how it's doing right now because i basically rode with this setup like this for maybe three four hours now and i just want to make sure that my battery pack is still full Let's see if it worked. Okay, I have to disconnect it first otherwise. Sorry, that was my stomach. Oh wow, it's full. Okay, so I guess so far it's working. It's completely full. And so is my GoPro, my rear view. So what I did was I hooked this up straight to the battery and the battery pack is hooked hooked up here on the solar panel and it was just charging the entire time that I was riding and it was just I hooked it up it came with these uh, carabiners four carabiners which was perfect I just put the rock strap over it I mean through it and it held it in place it's perfect uh, the weather is so much nicer and it doesn't smell smoky so now it's time to cook and eat dinner afterwards. This is what's for dinner. Risotto with chicken. I've never tried it before. So hopefully it's good because it sounds very good. And this time around, I packed canned chicken because it's not enough uh, protein. It's 
mostly a bunch of carbs that's you know they have a little bit of protein but I eat a lot of protein so this is not gonna be enough so it's still boiling I'm debating whether to move my bike closer to the table because I keep walking back and forth and I forgot my flip-flops yeah it'll just be easier if my bike was right there instead of 30 steps away all I have to wear for shoes is the Forma boots good thing they're comfortable because that's all I have no flip-flops no hiking boots I forgot about them so I'm very stylish right now in my shorts tank top and Forma boots Just add two cups of water. It looks promising. It smells pretty good actually. Mmm. Okay, I have to seal it. 15 minutes. Let it cook. Mm. Can't wait to eat. 14 minutes. Let's see. Here. Mm. I'm gonna keep the ice clean. Finally! Finally! I'm so happy! Icelandic beer. It's actually pretty good. Let's see. Einstok. Einstok Ulger. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's a white ale. I've had this before. <laughs> Oops, Ooh. I forgot to let it chill out. We were just riding off bro. <laughs> it's... Can't let that go to waste. Here is precious in the campground. Mmm, <laughs> salud. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. It's actually cold! Wow, it tastes so good. Someday when this corona thing dies down a little bit and traveling is easy again, I'll go back to Iceland because I really did enjoy that trip. But I don't recall drinking beer there. I think I just bought their Icelandic vodka but I bought I bought the smoky the smoke version and I actually I don't like the smoke version I like hard alcohol but I don't like the smoke version and so then when I saw this at the store I was like oh let's try their beer I like it but that's not why I like Iceland they have the best waterfalls and scenery I just remember when I was there the all of my pictures look amazing and like it just looks like I'm in a fairy tale world. It just looks surreal, everything. And yes, it is touristy. Iceland is touristy. But it's there's a lot of non touristy detours. Like if you go off the main road then you can find sometimes it's only gonna be you there that's dinner risotto with chicken and extra chicken mm. it's yummy i'm using my diy clothesline and my laundry bag here Yep, so I can have some fresh clothes. And that is all I have for today. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.